I am arithmetically polyamorous in that I've got two favorite numbers, 17 and 12. My connection to 17 is of a primarily emotional kind and hard to explain, as love often is. My reasons for liking 12, on the other hand, are rooted in logic and practical application. I think that 12 is the superior base in which numbers should be presented. Writing numbers in base 12 requires two additional digits, which are usually called A and B. A in base 12 is 10 in base 10, and duodecimal B is decimal 11. A larger base means that large numbers do not have quite so many digits. A decimal million becomes duodecimal 402,854, for example. Being larger than 10 does not make a good base number alone. A decimal million is only BTG1939 in septa decimal, for example, and only 11 in base 999,999. While 10 is divided by 2 and 5, 12 is divided by 2, 3, 4 and 6, so the number of non-trivial divisors of the latter is twice as large. This means that a simple fraction has a much larger chance of having a nice representation using a duodecimal point because 0.n in base b is n over b, so if n divides b, this can be written as 1 over b over n with an integer denominator. This extremely simplifies the use of numbers in everyday life. Imagine, for example, that you want to acquire some bread, but the only loaf is much too large for your consummation behavior, so you decide to buy only half of it. In the decimal world we currently live in, you'd say 0.5 loaves of bread, please, as you do. In duodecimal, this would be 0.6 loaves. Up to this point, the systems are equally good. If the loaf is even larger though, you might want to order a third of it, and here you run into trouble, because 10 is really far from being divisible by 3, so you'd be stuck with infinitely many digits after the decimal point, while in duodecimal, one third is simply 0.4. Here is a list of some more fractions in base 10 and base 12, to convince you that 12 is indeed the superior base number. Who wants to divide by 5 anyways? The property I value most in 12 is that it is divided by all integers up to and including 4, so I will call it superior base number 4, or SB4 for short. The series of SB numbers can of course be found on the OEIS, I'll put a link in the description. I'd like to point out that SB1 is, contrary to its name, very much an inferior base number. Ignoring for the moment the number of symbols you are willing to teach your children, I think that by now everyone should agree that SBN plus 1 is superior than SBN because it either has more devices or is the same number. This video is intended to present my mega favorite number, meaning my favorite number above 1 million. I hereby declare it to be SB18, which is 12,252,240 and propose that we switch to this number as a base worldwide. One slight drawback of this system is that we'd have to learn over 12 million symbols and their names as digits, and the fact that Unicode covers less than 150,000 characters suggests that humankind is either not willing or not able to achieve that yet. Using up all of Unicode's characters also means that no symbols are left as mathematical operators. It is more practical to write the digits themselves in base 10 divided by a colon in writing and a pause in speech, so that 20, 1000 in base SB18 equals decimal 24,505,480. SB18 has a total number of 480 devices, meaning that 480 fractions of the form 1 over n can be written as 0.m. It is not, however, the lowest number above 1 million with that many devices. That title goes to 10,810,800. This number comes from the series of highly composite numbers, which is also listed on the OEIS and also linked below. The highly composite numbers do not, however, care for the size of the divisors, whilst the superior base numbers guarantee the divisibility by the lowest n. Your favorite prime, say 17, is probably not among the divisors of the highly composite numbers, while it definitely is if n is larger than that number. Now, the question might arise if I had chosen a different mega favorite number if the threshold was lower than the somewhat arbitrary 1 million, and the answer is yes. Luckily, James Grime did not specify the base in which 1 million is to be understood, so it could very well be interpreted in base 2, which is decimal 64. 
this is just above 60, which is SB6, so in this interpretation I will choose SB7 as my mega favorite number, which is 420 and slightly more practical than SB18. Let us all share my opinion to make the world a better place. Enjoy your 0.140 breads.